on the night of the shooting star by Amy Hest illustrated by Jenny Desmond Bunny and dog live on opposite sides of the fence Bunny's house is blue a sign on the mailbox says bunny house private inside are a table for dining a bed for sleeping a lamp for reading and cocoa lots and lots of cocoa dog's house is red a sign on the door says dog here do not disturb inside are a table for dining a bed for sleeping a lamp for reading and biscuits lots and lots of biscuits every morning first thing bunny looks through the fence in the tall grass at dog and every morning first thing dog looks through the fence and a tall grass at bunny no one says hello or hi or nice to see you today bunny hops and nibbles all through the day she plants a carrot seed here and there crunch crunch and peeks at dog when night comes she sits coco in bed and reads now and then she checks on the light in the window of the little red house dog skips and sniffs all through the day he hides his ball and digs it up and peeks at bunny when night comes he munches biscuits in bed and reads he checks on the light in the window of the little blue house seasons come seasons go no one says hello or hi or let's have a picnic today one sleepless night bunny goes out to the yard to watch the stars above the little red house dog's house dog needs a friend she thinks who could be dog's friend the stars are dim but beautiful that night on the other side of the fence that very night dog watches the moon above the little blue house bunny's house bunny needs a friend he thinks who could be her friend the moon is beautiful and the stars all at once the night sky brightens a shooting star zip and then it is gone bunny looks at dog dog looks at bunny they had seen a shooting star but now it is gone back in the little blue house bunny lies under the table and thinks about dog and the shooting star she thinks for a long time in the little red house dog sits on the chair and thinks about bunny and the shooting star he thinks for a long time on the night of the shooting star two doors open bunny carries coco in cups carefully to the fence where dog is waiting with a basket full of biscuits i could be your friend says the one yes please says the other they get to work digging a hole under the fence in time it is just the right size for the one to slip through and just the right size for the other The cocoa is hot. The biscuits are blind. They had seen a shooting star, and now it was gone. But for the rest of their days and nights, Bunny and Dog are exceptional friends. 
for more read aloud stories, keep watching Little Hive Super Kids only on YouTube.